adventure games. Um, hey everybody, this is Ku Impact with Let's Play Five Days of Stranger with my co-host. Husky. Because Riku Cotton left us. Oh well. Mm -hmm. He was overpowering anyways. Yeah, he was overpowering anyways. So we're just going to continue with the text now because these other options will lead us nowhere except for this one. Oh, Trilby, pour on the emoness. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I cut myself every night. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, he vomits several times. Without the beer. Oh, that's nasty. Well, I mean, I shouldn't make fun of him. I had depression like that before, but I wasn't like a psychopath murderer. I just had bad depression. It would make me, you know, vomit up food and stuff. Oh, she gave me tie. my tie. Are we going to whack her over the head with the book? Um, hopefully not, but maybe yes. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> knock her unconscious with a book and a teddy bear. I see he comes out attacking. Blarg! His eyes are popping <laughs> out of his head. All veiny. The stepping comes out of the little, poor little bear. Oh, poor bear. We need that bear, though. I don't want to use that with myself. I wanted to use it with the door. Stab his <laughs> eyes out. Uh, pl walking around the Defoe Manor is just as bad as stabbing your eyes out. It's that painful. <gasps> Simone's gone. Looks like she's dead. I have to convince her of this idol. Everything. I think she ran away when she gave us her tie. It was our tie, not hers, but... Yeah. Oh, he's still there. Ew. Uh, let's use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, well, but he's her friend, Philip. He got cut in half with a machete. This is the part where I might die. Hopefully I won't die. Uh, that painting looks different. Sorry about the swear. Don't worry. It's a portrait of, of a skeleton in a bloodstained safari suit. The plaque reads Sir Roderick Defoe. But, but he's a skeleton now. He wasn't a skeleton earlier. Let me come out. Nah, nah, not really. Not yet. Not until the very end. Not yet. Great. Um, this is the part where I would like to save, please. Um, if, if, if it would let me. Yeah. Get ready to use immediately. Get ready to run away. Oh, yeah. It's always the bathroom. Um, don't ask that. Oh, God. It's Simone. Oh, really now? How? How do you know? Yeah, kind of. Huh? I'm making a video with a friend. My mom just asked me that. Yeah. Um, she said she spotted the real killer, and Jim's missing. And now we're she doesn't want us to talk about a ghost. Speaking of psychos. Great. <laughs> use. Use the teddy bear. Quickly. Yes, I got him. If he got any closer, the game would not let me have done that to uh, Jim. Jim touched the idol, probably, huh? Yeah, he went immediately and touched the idol as soon as I went into the shed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now you half believe us about possession. Now go touch the idol. <laughs> go touch it. Everyone loves the idol. Everyone who's... <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's so ugly. Um... Oh, you want me to get the Black Book of Magic to do that, right, Simone? I don't have the Black Book yet. Quasi-mortal. What? I didn't, didn't think it. things could be quasi-mortal. So it's like one quarter immortal. Great. The other quarters are like the brain, the soul, and the body. I'm Ooh. gold. Oh, I can't read that fast for some reason. I can't lie. read it that I can't read that fast either. And I'm not clicking. When it has that hourglass, it means it's doing it on its own. 
I can read it, it's just that I keep getting tongue tied when I try to say it all. <laughs> I don't think. Um. Well. I think they had more than one son. So do I. I mean, his diary, when you weren't on camera, said stuff about that. <laughs> He, I mean, Sir Roderick's diary went on about crazy madness exactly, I created a monster. Exactly. Yeah, a monster. See, he helped create. I mean, Matthew was definitely not the monster. He was a boy. Oh, behind the kitchen door. I forgot about that. He imprisoned uh, he... the son in the basement. Sorry for interrupting. Great. Yeah. And now that son is pissed off angry spirit guy. Uh... I think they were they bothered a love child while in Africa. That's funny. Uh, yeah. But, no, it's twins. Spoiler alert, twins. She had twins. That's why she died. The second one was a monster when it came out. It was born with a birth defect where it was both hunched and had no eyeballs. So, now you know what kind of monster we're dealing with. It doesn't have any sight, and it's hunched. Aww. Oh. Well, that's what I read. <laughs> yep. I read... it out. Oh, yep, yeah, oh, yep. Yeah. You were starting to cut in and out there, just letting you know, on my side. Hopefully, it picked it up on the recording. Aww. Oh. Well, now we have to go find his body. The parts of his body. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. You'll never guess where the heck they are. I know where they're at, but I need to follow the game sequence of events to find them. <laughs> Which is sad. Hmm. I'll give you a hint. He might have lived in the basement, but he didn't die in the basement. Nope, nope. The boy managed to escape. Er, no. Um, I forget which one I think one he these. killed him. Yeah, I think Sir Roderick killed him, too. I mean, look at the crazy... The, the picture turning into a skeleton with blood soaked all over it all of a sudden on the fifth day. And I mean, didn't he say, I'm going to destroy that monster that I created? <laughs> he said it in a very Eggmanish voice. Half two days. I am going to get you, Hedgehog Boy! <laughs> Boom! We actually, in a later sequel, get to see the exact event as it happens, so it's going to be fun to see that bloody mess. Aww. <laughs> in a flashback oh, form. Oh, yeah, we'll get to see Matthew and Roderick die, as well as uh, the, the boy who was in the chains. Mm -hmm. We don't know his name yet, but we'll figure his name out later. We'll Not call in this him game. Gameless. Ugh. Oh. So if we don't kill him, he'll kill us all. Yep. He's a ghost. A very evil ghost. A very sad ghost. You're pretty quiet over there. Yeah, because there's not much commentary if they're just talking to each other. Oh, they're finally going away. Finally! Time to find body parts! Well, first we have to collect some items from Jim. I'm not really, I'm not gonna really talk to him much. I'm just gonna ask him how he is and then steal some stuff from him. Or oh, he's yeah. gonna give me them. Oops. Okay. Throw them in the pool! Throw them in the pool! Actually, we're going to make them uh, our own ghost detector, like oh. we did before with the bear. I didn't see the bear, so that's... Eh. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Darn technical issues. How are you feeling? Well, my arm isn't very fun right now. It hurts. I was I was talking for Trilby, but okay. That's nice to know <laughs> that that you, you, you are... Uh... Your arm yeah, is. I have to hold my microphone. I have to hold my headphones because the microphone is attached to it. The door won't answer me, he said. <laughs> Great. And then my hand hurts because I have to press the microphone against my ear in order to hear stuff. Oh, that that truly sucks. Yeah. 
Now, the thing is designed to fit my dad's head, not mine. Ah, I see. Here comes the fun part. Body part? Um, no. I forget where to find the scissors. Scissors? And we're running out of time for the video anyway, so we're gonna have oh. to end it right here. So yeah, this has been Ku Impact with... Husky. And this has been Let's Play Five Days a Stranger. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the both of us. Since Riku's not here, we don't have to include him. Sorry, Riku. You're a little bit of Hershey that fell on the ground. Yep. So we will see you next time when I find a pair of scissors and we start constructing us a welder finder. Woo! And see you guys all next time.